Why are you here alone? It looked as though you were having a bad dream. I was. But yes, I'm all right. Were you here this whole time? You were wearing my ring when you went to bed. Oh, I I'm sorry. I forgot to take it off. That's all right. Keep it on. Then if something happens, I will be able to help. Besides, after a millennium together, I would feel uncomfortable if we were separated now. Marth, what was I like? Hmm. You knew me back then. You must be able to tell me something. Well... You were kind, as you are now. There's no need to remember everything at once. Take your time. Ease back into your memories. Lumera advised that too, didn't she? Yes, she did. Sorry. I don't mean to be impatient. It's all right. What was that? I'm not sure. An enemy raid? We had best take a look. I'm worried about Lumera and the others. Agreed. Vander! Clan! Fram! Oh, Divine One. Thank goodness you're safe. What's happening? Tell me. Some enemies busted right through the castle walls like paper! Suddenly, BAM! They're here! What's worse, they fought their way into the ring vault. If you ask me, they're trying to get their hands on the emblem rings. Even as we speak, Queen Lumera is defending the vault. Quickly, we must fly to her aid! Sounds like a plan. Follow me! <laughs> I am your weapon. All right. Lend me your strength.
For the Divine Dragon! For the Divine Dragon! Moment too soon. The Crown Prince Alfred of Firine is here to help. Let me at him. Prince Alfred of Firine, you said? Could it be? Are you the Divine Dragon? You finally woke up? I did, yes. That's amazing! You know, I've waited ages for this to happen. There's so much to talk about. Later, of course. After we've taken care of these scoundrels. Uh, who are they, anyway? We're not sure. They attacked so suddenly. Well, let's do this quickly. Pin down whoever's in charge and get some answers. Oh, these are my retainers, Etier and Boucheron. From now on, consider us at your disposal. Lead the way, Divine One. Thank you for your help. Sorry, Divine One. I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. My name's Boucheron. If I'm near an enemy you're fighting, I can jump in and land another hit on them. Call on me if you need some extra oomph. Divine One. Need some help? <laughs> Here go! Ah! 
This is what I trained for. It's an honor to meet you, Divine One. I'm Etier. My arrows are perfect for knocking airborne enemies out of the sky. With these muscles, I'll have those flyers dropping like flies. like I broke them. I won't get lost. Scatter like petals. Yeah! Oh, I was on the verge of tears. This one.
still do more. Is it over? I am ready to serve. Onward. I have my orders. No one reaches the vault. You're not just any soldiers, are you?
destroyed by the emblems. Looks like we cleared the way. Let's get to the ring vault! Whoever it is you are, the rest of your forces have all been defeated. So surrender now. If you refuse, I will stop you. Hmm. But how? Do I detect a hint of fear? Of course I do. <sighs> Time to die. Now, why don't you hand the rings over to me? Leave here at once! now listen to me child those who invaded here I sense the power of the fell dragon within them <gasps> you must not allow them to capture any more of their rings please I beg of you gather together all 12 rings When your scattered memories return to you, you must fight on with the utmost divinity. I believe in you, my child. I understand. I'll collect the rings. I swear to you. And I'll fight. I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't leave me. Mother! Ah, oh. oh, young one. How I've longed to hear you call me that. All of those years, I held out hope. 
My heart is fuller than you could ever know. It can't end like this. You were going to give me that ring once my memories came back. You promised. And there... there are so many things you haven't told me yet. You said that we would talk. I did. There's still so much I wanted to say to you. Being your mother... Becoming your mother has brought so much happiness into my life. I know. And I'm happy to be your child. In this moment here and now, and a thousand years ago, I am. Don't go. Stay with me until I remember again. Please, mother, I need more time. <laughs> oh, my sweet one. Now. Let's make a promise. Mother and child will make it a pinky promise. I swear to you, I'll be with you always and forever. And the ring, remember. Once you've rested, we will talk. You and I. have happened, Queen Lumera. The Divine Dragon Queen. She has left us. Mother, please wake up. You promised you'd stay by my side. You have to, you have to keep your promise. <laughs> Thank you for helping with my mother's funeral. It was the final service we could provide Queen Lumera as stewards. <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. Come on, Fram. Think how hard this must be on the Divine Dragon. We gotta hold it together. I'm trying, but... <laughs> <sighs> Lumera... I never thought our paths would diverge so soon. Nor I. And to leave a child behind, I did that in death. A bitter memory. I vowed to protect your offspring in your absence, Lumera. If we could grant our power now... Marth, you know that's not possible without the other emblems here. Yes, yes, I know. This is awful. Sorry I couldn't have done... something. No, Prince Alfred. Without you, our losses may have been even greater. Though I must ask, why did you come? Was there something you needed? Our kingdom is in danger. My mother sent me to ask Queen Lumera for help. All over Firene, our people are being attacked by these... these... creatures. Creatures? What kind of creatures? These things are like... people, but... cracked, almost crumbling. The Corrupted. Oh, so that's what you call them. Yes. Corpses brought back to life. No wonder they wouldn't listen to us. They just keep attacking everything. We sent our knights out to hold them off, but it's a losing battle. My kingdom is being destroyed. Divine One, will you help us? Please, come with me to Firene. Me? What can I do? It was my mother's help you wanted, not mine. Queen Lumera is gone. You're the last Divine Dragon. We need the power of the rings to save Firene. And only you can do that. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to press the topic. I'll return to Firene. We'll do what we can. I'm coming with you. You will? I don't want more families to be torn apart. More people to suffer. Even if I'm scared, I have to push through my fear. Now that my mother is gone, it's my duty to step into the role of Divine Dragon. And if each kingdom is protecting rings, I take it Firene has one, correct? That's right. Then I need to go there anyway to honor my mother's request. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. As the Divine Dragon, I officially accept the Kingdom of Firene's request for aid. That's great to hear! Thank you, Divine One. 
Happy to help, Prince Alfred. Just Alfred is fine. I've been visiting you at the Somniel since I was a boy. I think of you as an old friend. A very, very old friend. I appreciate that. Actually, I can't remember anything from before I fell asleep. Nothing? This world is new to me. I appreciate having friends who can teach me about it. I'll do my best. Can't say I'll know much compared to Queen Lumera, but I'll try. Thank you, Alfred. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a divine dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a divine dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so... I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one, but don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings. Just as you asked. And then... I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know, but it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm? A piece of jewelry? I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground, in the Ring Vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait, it's familiar somehow, even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, Let's set out for Firne. Yes. You know... Ah, 
You see? Yes! If I may... <sighs> I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. <sighs> but... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me, but I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold.
Oh, 